Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with the new Make It Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. Now I never thought I would be doing any kind of review or even talking about a powder foundation because I personally prefer a liquid foundation, but here we are. So I was in Sephora, a um, little quick backstory, and I swatched this and I was like, oh, I don't need another powder, but it just seemed so pigmented. I was like, wow, that's a pigmented powder and I kept it moving. It never occurred to me it was a powder foundation. And then I saw this um, little video on Instagram and I was like, what sorcery is that? And I really wanted to try it. But if I actually went, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna review it, so I actually looked at reviews and I was amazed at the coverage and how it looked on um, other people's um, skin. I have normal to dry skin, it's mostly on the dry side now. So a powder foundation, I wasn't sure, but I picked it up. And I've used this foundation one time before and I absolutely love it. And I just wanted to come on camera, demo it to you guys, talk more about it to you guys, because it's really, it's a beautiful foundation. Now, um, it comes in this little metal package. Make It Forever has these um, packages, like if you buy single shadows, you can get a package like this to put it in. There are Z palettes, I consider the Z palette, um, the big Z palettes has this same tin-like um, packaging, and I personally like it, but this one comes with a mirror, and this is what everything looks like. Now, as far as shades, I got the shade Y505, which is my shade in Make It Forever. Although, um, the last Make It Forever foundation, I don't know, didn't really work that well for me because this matte, this matte velvet skin, there's also in that tube. It's also a liquid foundation. I think they turned it into a powder. When they originally, when Make It Forever originally had their HD foundation, I was 177. To me, that matched me perfectly. And once they switched it to that new bottle, they said it was the same shade as Y505. It got a little more olive, but the other colors are just a little too red or a little too light. So I settled for Y505. Now this retails for uh, $38. You can get it at Sephora, Sephora website, and there's a total of 30 shades. Now it comes with this little sponge applicator and normally I wouldn't use tools that come with uh, makeup because most of the times to me, I don't really like it, but I actually like the sponge. Now, the black side is supposed to be for a fuller coverage. The white side is supposed to be for a lighter coverage. I found personally that the white side gave me more of a fuller coverage, so I'm gonna use the white side. Now quickly, I'm just gonna um, give you some claims from the Sephora website, it says, it's a full coverage blurring powder with a lifelike matte finish, which, which I can attest to, that bends and breathes with skin and it wears for 12 hours. I haven't worn it for 12 hours um, yet. The first time I wore it, I wore it for about nine hours. It, it never cakes, flakes, or fades. Then it also went, goes on to say, it contains innovative powder formula with Make It Forever's unique Flex Fit Puzzle Complex for a lightweight feel and flexible coverage. It does feel lightweight on the skin. It has blurring technology. It smooths and it mattifies and it visibly reduces pores and abs absorbs oil for a balanced natural look. And like I said, available in 30 shades. I can attest to all those things. It has a very blurring effect. So how I've been wearing it, and I've seen other people, because like I said, I looked at reviews on this foundation. I've been putting concealer under my eye, not throughout the T-zone, and I've been going over it with the powder foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I haven't used this Make It Forever um, concealer with it. The first time I used my Tarte, not my Tarte, my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. But since I'm demoing it on cameras, Make It Forever, I'm gonna use my full coverage concealer and I have it in the shade 14. And I've already um, primed my face. The last time I wore it, I primed my face as well and I used my Ole Henriksen Banana Primer. 
that's the only primer I've been using for everything I've spoken about it so much on my channel already all right so now that the concealer is on I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the foundation on like I said I'm using the white side because for me it gives me a fuller coverage so I do one swipe And then I go in with another swipe here. And I want you guys to see the difference with this half of my face and then this half. The coverage is unbelievable. It's like a cream in a compact. It doesn't feel like a powder. It's so beautiful and it's very, very blurring. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here where some of my darkness tend to peek through. And you can build this up, obviously, if you want a fuller coverage. But I love the way it just blurs everything. I think this is so beautiful, guys. And what I love about this foundation, it's so easy to apply and it's so quick because you're not blending out liquid. And that sponge is so beautiful, just the way it glides on your skin. It's so effortless. It's so easy. And I think this would be such a great on the run um, product, especially if you're busy and you just want to swipe something on your face. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup done. I just wanted you guys to see how it looks when you have um, other products on. And what I love about this, it cut out a lot of my foundation steps. I didn't cream contour. I didn't have to like put a setting powder because I'm wearing a powder foundation. I, of course, I put on my finishing powder. I use my Marc Jacobs, his, um, I can't think of the name of the powder. But I put his powder on, which has a little glow. And I, of course, I set it with my setting spray. And I just absolutely love this. It does not look like a powder foundation. It looks so natural. It's so easy. It's so quick. I love this so much and I, I, you know, I just wanted to come on camera and I was so anxious to share it for you guys to see. And I think it's been out now, I think it's a little over two months, I'm assuming. And I never really paid attention. Like I said, I saw it in Sephora and I walked right by it and whatever. And this is absolutely beautiful. It feels like there's nothing on your skin and it's so easy. If you're a working mom or you're rushing in the morning, swipe 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 and you do a powder contour and you just set that down and you are ready to go um it's now i'm gonna do a wear test i mean i i know how it wore because i've worn it for nine hours but i want you guys to see how it looks it's very hot outside and i have to go outside today and it's now what is it i'm blind as a bat it's um it's 9 28 a.m and so I'm gonna wear it for a few hours just so you guys can um, see how it looks, you know, at, over time. And like I always say in all my videos, just in case you're new here, I'm NC50 in MAC, and I'm gonna list all my other foundation shades and other um, foundations in the description box. But I'm gonna see you guys later for a check-in of this foundation. All right guys, so I'm back for a check-in. It's now 2.32. So I've had this on for like five, a little over five hours. It is raging hot outside. I don't think I need any more time to come back. And like I said, I've worn it um, previously for nine hours. So this is what the foundation looks like. I think it looks amazing. And I deliberately did not touch up, which I never do when I do a review or a demo, because I wanted to touch up on camera and it's so convenient because you have the powder and you have the sponge so easy to walk with and um as you can see my nose is shiny my nose is shiny so i'm just gonna 
take a little bit, tap it off, and just go on my nose. And when you touch up, it doesn't um, it doesn't look cakey. Have a little shine over here. So looking at this, it doesn't look like a powder foundation still because it's mixed with my oils. I have my glow powder over top. But if you have dry skin, I think you can still wear this because as you can see, it doesn't wear as like a dry powder. It doesn't look powdery. It looks great. And like I said before, I absolutely love this foundation. So if you were thinking of picking this up, I think you definitely can pick this up. I think it's amazing. I love it. I think they did such a great job with this foundation. I love the concept of it as well. All right, so this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have this foundation or you're gonna give it a try, um, you can leave me something down in the comments and the comment section. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.